guys, welcome back. Today, we're gonna be talking about the most frequently asked topics in K-pop, and that is LGBT in K-pop. Have I personally met any LGBT idols or celebrities? Anyone in secret? Will LGBT be ever accepted in K-pop and or Korea? And why are they not performing in your favorite music shows and TV? Where are they? And disclaimer, you guys, I'm sorry if throughout the video I say it in a wrong term. I am not an expert in this field. Also, you guys, happy October. Ooh. This is my Ooh. favorite month, and you guys know why, because it is a spooky month. You guys might not know, but on my second channel, I talk about a lot of spooky, creepy, a lot of paranormal things. If you guys do like paranormals and mediums, I'm listening to Between Two Worlds by Tyler Henry. He is one of the famous mediums out there. Also listening to Wicca for Beginners, A Basic Guide to the Magic World. And you guys, I love the paranormal world, especially because it's October. And in fact, you guys, Audible is a sponsor for today's video. You guys to get your first audiobooks for free plus two Audible originals when you try Audible for 30 days. You guys can visit audible.com slash crazy grace or text crazy grace to 500 500 it is that easy to get audible there's also audible originals audible originals are exclusive audio titles created by celebrated storytellers from worlds as diverse as theater journalism literature and so much more audible basically has any topic that you guys are interested in you guys can customize it any way that you want again you guys you can go to audible.com slash crazy grace or text crazy grace to 500 500 I cannot wait to share all these paranormal stories with you guys this month. All right, you guys, LGBT in K-pop. It is somehow the hottest and the most controversial talk out there. Just because right now, at the moment, Korea is not really open as like the Western country is when it comes to LGBT. Now, in order to understand why that is, especially in K-pop, we must talk about Korea and what is going on right now. And is this issue serious or not? So if you guys didn't know, same-sex marriage right now is not legal in Korea. There's a celebrity named named Kim Jo Gong who is a screenwriter, film director, film producer, and he is an LGBT right activist. So he did have a public non-legal marriage and he sued, I think the nation basically, the government, saying that this is unfair, this is unconstitutional, that same-sex marriage should be legalized in Korea. Besides Kim Jo Gong so there are activists and there has been talks about legalizing same-sex marriage in Korea, but unfortunately those attempts kind of have disappeared or the talks kind of goes away after a while. Also sex change is legal as long as you are the over of the age 20 single and no children now this leads to a lot of problems especially in the military which I will get into you guys know that all able-bodied men in Korea must enter the military and that is a big question and an issue for those who are LGBT in Korea but after the introduction of neo-confucianism in Korea and Christianity it had a big shape in the moral system and since 1910s it was deemed strictly deviant to be LGBT there's a lot of interviews that YouTubers did in the streets of Korea to ask what the general people think about the LGBT community. And the interesting thing is people who are in their teens and 20s are generally accepting and they're very aware of the LGBT growing community. But as you get older and older, especially the older generation of our parents, they are very, very strictly disapproving of LGBT. It is known fact that a lot of people who do feel like they are homosexual or LGBT, they keep it a secret from their friends, from their family. I mean, think about it, being outcasted from your family, your mother, your friends, your elderly, your grandmother, your grandfathers not talking to you and just kicking you out of the house. That is a harsh reality. So it is known fact that if, you know, a family has an LGBT son or a daughter and once the rumor goes out, people will talk about you, people will hate on the parents and the elderly and the family doesn't want that kind of trouble or that kind of rumor going around and damage the family's reputation. So a lot of people will keep it a secret. Not to mention that there are so many celebrities that have come out about their bullying stories and how they grew up and just being suicidal just because of the harsh reality that they have to face based on the public opinion. Let's talk about the military because this is a big question because you guys know all able-bodied men in Korea must attend the military. So what happened to the LGBT, especially transgenders, who need to serve in the military? So I read that during military tests, it's a test where you go in to see if you're fit for the military to serve in the military or the public office. So in these tests, if you're deemed to be gay or, you know, have signs of being a transgender, you will be considered having a personality disorder or a behavioral disability and you might not actually serve in the actual military. If you are found out to be gay, you might be institutionalized or disarmed 
dishonorably discharged. According to the Article 92-6, which is a law in the military, even off-duty, it is illegal to have certain interactions with other military men if you are a homosexual. Now, I cannot talk about this in my channel. If you guys are interested about this, you can go to Google and just kind of see what this is about. Basically, in sum, a lot of people got into trouble, even jail time for being homosexual and having interactions with other military men. Also, this law, Article 92-6, is supposed to protect other military men as well. There's also stories where men has been harassed by other homosexual soldiers. So that is where this article, this law is supposed to protect all military men. So that is one of the reasons why a lot of homosexual men says they need to keep it a secret in order to avoid these troubles in the military. Are LGBT celebrities met with a positive view in K-pop? Actually, there's a lot more people that has come out in the celebrity world that I didn't even know. So let's go run down some of the list. So Hong Sa Chan is actually one of the most well-known gay celebrity in Korean entertainment. Hong Sa Chan is an MC. He has a restaurant. Fun fact I didn't know, he actually revealed that he's a third cousin of NCT Taeyong. So that's pretty cool. Hong Sa Chan says, I was different ever since childhood. Acting differently in the countryside, I was made fun for it. I was bullied. There are memories that I don't ever want to speak of. When I was in middle school, I was assaulted by the school bullies. We next have Harisu, who is one of the most famous trans women in Korea. She was actually very famous in the early 2000s. She is older now and she hasn't come out with a single, so not a lot of the younger generation in K-pop will know her. She was the only LGBT or transgender woman who actually performed on music shows. After Harisu, at least not that I know, maybe you guys could find, but I haven't found anyone who was openly gay or openly transgender that has actually performed in major music shows. Not to mention that she actually performed back in the early 2000s, so it's been almost like almost 20 years, and I mean, I haven't seen anyone else. We have Som Hain, who was a contestant of the Idol School, the show in Mnet. She came out and said that she is a lesbian, that she has a girlfriend, and she was met with a lot of mixed reviews or mixed comments. We have DJ Fritz. He's actually in Feel Good Music, home to the famous rapper Tiger JK. And then we have Holland. You guys know he is is hot between the Western audiences. He is known to be the openly gay idol in Korea. Holland says, when I decided to come out in my middle school days, I told one of my closest friends about being gay. The next day, everyone in school was gossiping about it. He talks about how this friend, you know, he thought was the best friend, but once he told and came out of the truth about who he was, his friend kind of turned his back on him. We have a lady guru, Maman, Che Hanbit, who is a model slash singer. And recently, an idol top dog, Han Soor, came out then said that he was asexual. Han Soor also says, to be honest, I don't think South Korea is very familiar with strange identities. People under strange umbrellas hide facts, fight them, or don't worry about it. Even though this is the truth, there are still people who want to erase their existence ironically. Honestly, like I really applaud these celebrities for coming out and talking about it in public, rather it's on TV or you know social media. It's such a hard thing to talk about, especially in Korea. So the fact that they had like courage to really stand up for themselves and try to explain who they really are and not wanting to hide, I think that is an amazing thing. And Hansor did come out after, you know, the promotions of Top Dog. So this does show you that he did have to keep it a secret, especially to the public when he was promoting active in K-pop. So this got me to think, if you are an openly gay idol, can you perform on music shows? So I do think it does have an effect on how easily you could be on music shows and things like that, which leads to an LGBT drama called Club Pili Tai but this show was actually a full female cast and they were all having a relationship, a lesbian relationship. It's a drama that aired back, I think, in 2011. So this was a long time ago, but they were met with harsh criticism by the public. A lot of people say this show, this movie is a bad influence for the youth, that this should not be airing. I do believe that this show was a special, but they only had one show and it kind of disappeared. Probably because they were met with so much backlash in Korea. So there was actually a lot more non-supporters than some supporters about the show. Ever since this, I haven't seen any LGBTQ kind of dramas or specials or shows. Actually, more and more celebrities are being brave about supporting the LGBTQ community. You guys know that Sammi actually said that she supports LGBT in one of her tours. Also, Mamamoo Hyun 
had a solo single out recently and the new MV depicts a lesbian relationship. So K-pop itself is growing a little bit more and more when it comes to openly accepting LGBTQ. Now you guys might ask me, have I met any LGBTQ idols or celebrities or have any of my friends, have we talked about it? And the answer is no, no one has openly come out to us and said that they are LGBTQ. But all my singer friends can agree that we heard rumors about who is actually LGBTQ and who is not. Now among the celebrities and influencers, the backstory, we do hear rumors and we kind of say, oh, I heard that this person might be gay. So I do hear a lot of rumors because there are celebrities who are not open to the public, but they are kind of like not shy to talk about it among their celebrity friends. But I mean, it can't be confirmed because I'm not actually friends with that celebrity. I do believe that they do come out to maybe other celebrities that they know are gay or LGBT, but they don't come out to maybe their members or their regular friends or even their family at all. Because you know, if these rumors do leak out to the dispatch, it could actually put a negative effect on on their career instead of the positive. Maybe after they do retire from the industry or you know it's been a long time, maybe they will come out one day, but at the moment I know a lot of people just keep it a secret or keep it to themselves or keep it to a very small crowd. So will LGBTQ ever be accepted in Korea slash K-pop? Now that is a very difficult question to answer. We just have to see it in time, but you guys know that Korea is one of the fastest growing countries. So I really want to know your opinion. What do you guys think about LGBT in Korea? Korea slash the Korean entertainment. If you guys like that, remember to hit the like button and share this video if you guys do want more people to talk about it. Remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I reply to all my early birds. Remember you guys to go to audible.com slash crazy grace or text crazy grace to 500 500 to get your audible. See you guys. Bye.